Technique is just as important as the actual products, okay? Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're getting into another wash and go video. It's just gonna be like my current wash day routine. And specifically for like right now with the hotter weather outside, I'm gonna show you exactly how I get my wash to last. I'm gonna show you which products I'm absolutely loving. And also, I'll be doing another side part wash and go today. Y'all have seen me do the bangs multiple times. I am thinking about growing them out just a little bit. So for now, it's gonna be side part list for a little bit. Let's go. So I'm gonna start with my scalp today, actually. My scalp has been feeling a little bit itchy. It usually, that tends to happen and it's like completely normal, especially on a day five wash and go. So I'm going to do a scalp exfoliating treatment. Y'all, this has quickly become my absolute favorite scalp products because it is so quick and easy but effective and also extremely affordable. I'm here for it. So this is the Inky List Salicylic Acid Exfoliating Scalp Treatment. I'm gonna show you guys the consistency really quick. It is, ooh, boom, very liquidy, which I like because you literally just do, 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 and it goes straight to the scalp. I love the fact that it's not one of those thick uh, scrubbing, you know the ones with like physical scrubs in there? Sometimes those can be a little stressful to use. It's hard to get it onto your scalp. It's hard to disperse it to your entire scalp. It's just difficult. And then it becomes another issue when you're trying to wash it all out. It's like a whole thing. So I have really grown to love scalp products that are just super simple and easy and liquid. Cause that way I know for sure I'm able to get this dispersed to my entire scalp. So you basically just use this as like a pre-wash kind of treatment for your scalp. So if you ever deal with itchy scalp, flaky scalp, or anything like that, this is gonna be your best friend. It's actually something that I have started to use basically like every wash day now. I just love a little scalp care moment. It always feels so good. <laughs> Okay, so my scalp feels nice and saturated all over. So then you just leave this on for 10 minutes and then we'll head to the shower to proceed for the rest of the wash. Okay, so next we are getting into shampoo. Today I'm using the Detox Shampoo by Way. This stuff is so good and what I really love about it is that it is packed with apple cider vinegar, which is amazing for a detox, but also for like balancing your scalp and hair as well. I love detangling with shampoo. There's just something about it that gives your hair a nice extra deep cleanse and the curls just, I don't know, my curls love it, right? So I'm using the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush, my favorite brush of all time to just detangle with the shampoo. So we are achieving a lot of things here. We are cleansing, we are detoxing, and we are detangling all at the same time. I used to do my shampoo detangling with my fingers, but with my hair being so, I'm gonna say long, but not, I don't mean it here, but like on the top, it's so long and it's so much hair up there that I just prefer to use a brush. It's just quicker, easier, and also more effective. Just gets the job done. Even though down here is shorter, I have been really enjoying using a brush down here too. Boom, nice, quick, and easy. Love that for me. Oh, and the shampoo also smells amazing, by the way. Amazing. Hair and scalp feeling amazing. So now we're going into deep conditioning. I'm using a mask today. This is my favorite mask in general, but especially my favorite mask to use when I do like a detox or like a detox shampoo. Any type of extra cleansing I do, I always like to replenish with this. So this is the Fakai Shea Butter Intense Mask. And what I have learned since using this mask is that my hair and my body actually absolutely love shea butter. So now when I see like hair products or body products that have shea butter in it, I'm like, sign me up. So it is vegan, cruelty free, sulfate free, silicone free, paraben free, flotate free, gluten free, and this is also recyclable packaging. So it's pretty good. It also says on the actual back of the jar, which I really love, it says it's best suited 
for tight curls and kinky curls. And then in brackets it says 3B, 3C, 4A, 4B, and 4C. This is specifically for us, okay? Love it. It's been a top fave for a while now. I actually bought this last restock with my own coins. And that's how you know it's real. So I always start just with like a big glob. And I just apply it all over, just initially. I just like to do this because it helps to kind of soften my ends up so that it's easier to part and then really get in there with the products and sections. So for conditioners and deep conditioning, I actually specifically prefer to not use the brush anymore. Like I only use the brush for shampoo and then I just use my fingers for the rest of the time. I feel... So I love the brush, right? Love it, love it, love it for shampoo. Personally, I love the way my natural curls curl. The brush, whatever way you put it, when you're using it with um, more leave-in products, and especially with styling products, it distorts your curl pattern. It changes it a little bit, and that's what it's for, right? It's, it's to help it you know, get extra defined. It's a tool for your curls, but I prefer my natural kind of curls to just curl on their own. Um, especially since it's shorter, you know, the curls are really, really popping on their own. So I just feel like I don't need the brush. After shampoo, I just don't use it anymore. I also noticed that, like, for me personally, if I overuse the brush too much, um, I just don't get as much volume. And if I do get volume, it's more of a frizzy volume, not like a curly type of cute volume, you know? It's just something I personally noticed with my hair. So especially when it's short, I just love some good defined volume, that perfect mix between curl definition and volume, this is how I get it. Ooh, I can already feel that the curls are just loving this. Yeah, I go in with this stuff. I like to use a lot. I find that this is one of those products where it's like the more the merrier. It's so good. So what I always look for in my wash even though it might be hard to see because I have so much product in my hair right now. Um, what I always look for is that my curl definition is just increasing and getting my, like the curls are getting more and more defined as we move along through this wash and go. And that's usually my sign that the wash and go is going well. Like if you reach your deep conditioner step and your curls feel not so good and they're a little frizzy, there's a couple of frizzy patches and stuff, that's usually a sign that the wash is not going to turn out good. So it's not all about your wash and go styling products. It actually starts from the very beginning of your wash. So now I just go ahead and throw on the shower cap. I like to flip my head upside down and kind of scrunch to encourage curl definition. And then I put my shower cap on kind of like upside down this way. Almost like how you would do if you're like wet plopping your curls. I like to add a little bit of steaming hot water on top of this to just add a tiny bit of heat, help with the level of absorption a little bit. So I'm gonna do that, finish up with my body care, and then I'll be back for some styling. I've gone ahead and fully rinsed out my hair now and that is another thing like that's a major key for me is to make sure every little bit of the deep conditioner is rinsed out. So I actually rinsed it out in sections and just like it's all gone, okay? We're starting with a fresh, clean slate. The reason why this is important for me is that my gel works so much better if there's no cream in there. And y'all know for a while now I have been styling without any leave-in conditioners, nothing, just straight gel. I'm about to show you right now, and I've showed you many times before, actually. My curls have still absolutely been flourishing with it, and I refuse to do my wash and goes any other way. This has actually been the biggest thing that helps my wash and goes last way longer now. So the main gel I'm gonna be using today is this one by Dippity Do. It's their Light Hold, I don't know, gel or jelly. This is what it is. <laughs> it is a roughly $7 gel that you can pick up at your nearest TJ Maxx or Ross or whatever, bomb.com. My favorite thing about it is that it's just super curl defining. And then I'm also gonna be using my Camille Rose Curl Maker as a finisher gel today. This is gonna be my major key for y'all, especially right now during the spring and summer. Things are heating up, and this is what's going to give you a little bit of extra longevity. So we got light hold, super insane curl definition, and then this just kind of seals it in, sits on top, gives shine, and adds a little bit of additional hold. So dream team together, absolutely love this combo. So the reason why I like to apply in the shower is that I like to apply with my curls wet, but like not too wet. So I feel like this right right now is like, 
soaking, absolutely drenched. And to me, that's just a little bit too wet. So what I'll do is then I'll just kind of scrunch the water in and let the excess kind of drip away. And then, so my hair is still dripping here. It's still very, very wet, but not too wet. And I feel like this way it absorbs more of the gel a little bit better. I also like to utilize pretty small sections as well. So I'm just going in with a dippity do jelly and just kind of combing it through my curls. I'm gonna come a little closer so y'all can see. Literally, as I'm combing it through, the curl definition is happening. And then if I ever feel like I need just a little bit more water, I'll just run my hands under it like this and then just lightly add a little bit more water bit by bit until I get my desired result. And each section will also get about one pump of the, Ooh! Each section will get about one pump of the Camille Rose Curl Maker, just as, like I said, a little finisher gel on top. So it's not a ton, and I actually don't comb this one through. I kind of do like more scrunching vibes. And boom, that is it. So I just repeat these same steps for every single section. Today specifically, I'm looking for intense curl definition because tomorrow I'm doing a photo shoot which will be outside in the humidity. So I'm looking for as much curl definition and as much hold as I can get because I know it's gonna expand once I'm shooting outside tomorrow. And I still want my hair to kind of last me throughout the rest of the week. So in order to do that and get the most curl definition and hold out of your wash day, do these same steps but with small sections. This way you're making sure every single strand is like super saturated with product. If you want more volume a little bit quicker, I'd say use slightly bigger sections and maybe a little bit less product. That way you're still getting the hold and curl definition, but it's not as saturated. So your curls are gonna be a little bit freer to kind of open up and expand quicker. Technique is just as important as the actual products, okay? All right, so I've done about half. Now, because we're doing a side part, when we get to the top, I like to part it first so that we can style my hair in the side part style. This is how I get my side parts to look the absolute best because if you style your hair already and then you decide you wanna part it afterwards, you're gonna frizz up all the work that you just did. So I like to make sure I part it first before I style. I think I'm gonna do a deeper part, just slightly. Let's see. Let's see how this looks. I think it might look good. And this is one thing about this cut. It looks so crazy once it's wet, but once it dries and has a little bit of volume, it looks really, really good. So yeah, I think this part might be okay. Let's do it. And we are finito. So this is how the curls are looking. There are zero frizzy spots. I always like to double check before I just go ahead and let my hair dry to make sure there aren't any like little frizzy spots that need to smooth over and everything. But I think we are all good and ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is just diffuse for like literally probably 60 seconds or so to get it to stop dripping. And then I'll let it air dry the rest of the way and I will likely check back in with you guys tomorrow so we can get into some day two results. Hey okay, y'all, day two and this is how we're looking. I will also say it's about 10.30 in the morning. I've already gone up, went to the gym, taken a shower. So my hair has already been through a bit but I haven't touched it since yesterday. So in essence, we woke up like this and these are the results. You all see these curls? Oh, so popping. So all I'm gonna do now is go ahead and just kind of like, you see how we have these curl clumps here? I'm just gonna carefully just separate them a little bit and fluff out my hair because of course we're still looking a little crazy right now. So we gotta fluff and shape. So I'm actually gonna also grab my Brogio Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Oil. Isn't this so cute? Like it has like an actual rose in it. Y'all have heard me talk about this a little bit before. Um, but I'm just gonna apply a couple drops to my hands and then use that to help break this cast out and flood this hair. This is gonna give us a little bit of additional shine. It's got strengthening benefits. Ooh, it smells amazing. And yeah, it will help to reduce frizz from all this fluffing as well. All right, so boom, this is it. I, ugh, oh, look at it. 
Look at this close up. Like these curls are moisturized, popping. So for everybody of y'all who especially have been commenting like, how are you still liking Just Gel? I'm loving it, okay? And I will never go back because this is just so good. And you know what? I'll still use like leave-in conditioners here and there, maybe for like a refresh or maybe use them as a rinse out conditioner, that kind of thing. But when it comes to styling a fresh wash and go, I don't think I'll ever go back to actually using a leave-in conditioner because of the results that I have just been getting for like almost a year now. Am I being dramatic or has it almost been that long? Yeah, I feel like it's been like a year now of me just using gel and uh, it's just been so good. And you can see here, my curls are not dry. They're not frizzy. They're not super weighed down. They're still fluffy, but defined. We've got that mix, that mix I was telling you about, about curl definition and volume. We've got the perfect mix up in here. So I love it. And then throughout the week, my hair will continue to just get bigger and bigger, especially like on top here. It's just gonna be like, oh, it's gonna be so beautiful. So yeah what y'all think how did we do that is basically gonna be it for this video if you have any additional questions you guys can go ahead and comment them below and i have also gone ahead as usual and linked all the products mentioned in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye